Trần Thanh Mẫn, Secretary of the Party Central Committee, Chairman of the Central Committee of the Vietnam Fatherland Front, stressed that great national solidarity has created strength and has paved the way for the nation's past struggles for liberation and its present goal of renovation. The entire political system must thoroughly take the initiative to unite the people, encourage their creativity, support and respect, and protect their legal rights. Party committees and authorities at all levels in the whole political system must create favorable conditions for people to promote their creativity, have appropriate socio-economic development policies for areas of ethnic groups, and create policies for religions. It's also essential to call Vietnamese people overseas to contribute their talents and knowledge for the country's development. It is important to enhance the relationship between the party and the people, raise people's trust and arouse their patriotism and national solidarity, contributing to the country's development. Over the past years, mass mobilization has been fostered and innovated while ensuring the legal rights of the people. Also during this discussion session, Delegates suggested solutions about promoting the role of the people in the cause of national construction and defense. The leadership of the party needs to continue and promote it even more. It's important to improve research and forecast capability to consult the party in the state on defense strategies. Resolutely ensure and protect national sovereignty and independence of the country. Proactively respond to non-traditional security threats. Continue to build an all-people national defense while ensuring security and promote the role of the army in national defense and security. In order to do this, it must build the trust of the people. The court must bring justice for people. That means the court helps people. Promoting judicial reform is an important driver to improving judicial activities' effectiveness. Judicial activities must place people at the center for the benefit of the people. In addition, delegates have said that Vietnam has achieved significant results in various sectors by reducing poverty rates and ensuring social security. They also said that those results are attributed to the leadership, directions and policies of the party and the government, and the contributions of the authorities and the people. Innovation is an important part of the development strategies of many countries. During the debate session of the second working day of the 13th National Party Congress, delegates shared their opinions and experience regarding innovation and solutions to foster the country's development in the next tenure. The political report submitted to the 13th National Party Congress set a goal to develop Vietnam into a developed and high-income country by 2045. In order to achieve this goal, delegates say that knowledge, science and technology, and especially innovation, are vital factors. Hanoi is determined to utilize science and technology, cultural and intelligence resources to build development strategies for the capital city. Science and technology, innovation, culture and people are the factors that will enable the city to develop fast and sustainably. Ho Chi Minh City has proposed a solution to develop a knowledge economy in the future, which involves reforming policies and systems and creating an appropriate legal framework for the knowledge economy. It is important to build a development strategy in 2021 to 2030, with a vision towards 2045. Also at the session, delegates affirmed that education needs to be innovated to bring long-term benefits for the country's development. Meanwhile, several delegates suggested developing a circular economy to ensure sustainable development for Vietnam. A circular economy should be considered as an important solution as it will improve the quality of economic growth and the country's competitiveness and ensure sustainable production. I propose the Party Central Committee of the 13th tenure to issue a resolution on circular economy models. Some delegates also contributed their ideas on the development of the finance and banking sector, which plays a key role in the economy. There will be challenges in the future in the context of rising competition between economies, the impacts of climate change and the developments of Industrial Revolution 4.0. The finance sector will determine the key task. It will be innovating and completing financial mechanisms, restructuring the state budgets and public debt to stabilize the macroeconomy. 
At the session, the State Bank of Vietnam's governor stressed their determination to control inflation, stabilize the macroeconomy, improve the quality of monetary policy management, and combine with other macroeconomic policies to enhance the country's economic resilience and independence. Discussing the agriculture development policies, many delegates have proposed additional solutions to mobilize resources to invest in infrastructure for agricultural and rural areas, to boost international integration and to control the impact of natural disasters and climate change. Affirming that agriculture is still the country's strength, many have said that it is necessary to build long-term solutions to overcome shortcomings. They also emphasized the importance of promoting innovation to increase breakthroughs in agricultural development and management. Now, Vietnam's rapid economic development, political stability and successful hosting of various high-profile international events have raised the country's regional and international profile. Over the past five years, the country has strengthened ties with political parties globally, which consolidated political trust and cultivated friendships with other countries. At the 13th National Party Congress discussion session on Wednesday, delegates expressed their opinions on directions for diplomatic activities in the party foreign, foreign policies in the next period. Regarding external relations, the party needs to further promote and implement more effective plans in its foreign policies. This requires close coordination among relevant departments and agencies in handling important issues of the nation, so that the country will not be stuck in a state of passivity. In the future, Vietnam should continue to foster trust and build strong relationships with other nations as this will create a solid political foundation for bilateral relationships. The party needs to strengthen political trust and further deepen the strategic partnership between Vietnam and its 30 strategic and comprehensive partners. To further implement the foreign policy of diversification and the multilateralization of international relations, the party should implement more effective and synchronous policies, take full advantage of opportunities in terms of science and technology, to successfully carry out digital transformation and develop a green economy. Through our firm belief in the party's leadership and determination to improve the political system's operational mechanism, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs will try our best to fulfill the assigned tasks towards the goal of turning Vietnam into a strong country with prosperous people and an equitable, democratic and civilized society. 2020 was a difficult year as Vietnam suffered from the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic and severe natural disasters. But the National Assembly and the government have guided the Vietnam's economy to overcome the challenges to gain positive results. Foreign experts and diplomats have expressed their high regard for Vietnam's success in improving its prestige and the major aspects of the 13th National Party Congress. I've been quite impressed by the level of preparation that has gone into it, the level of consultation for the key documents that are before the Congress party. Uh, the, particularly the socioeconomic development strategy and the development plan. Also very pleased to see the people-centered development that continues to prevail, which is extremely important. The poverty rate in Vietnam decreased from 50% in 1990 to 21% in 2008 and less than 10% in 2016. The number of poor people has declined rapidly thanks to the Doi Mới renovation policies of the Vietnamese Communist parties along with the government's continuous reforms in all fields and economic sectors. The country has made a lot of progress. Back in 1988, uh, the Central Committee adopted a very key resolution that looked forward. And back then, Vietnam was only recognized by 23 countries. So by deciding to open economic relations early with any country, regardless of its system, and then later political, Vietnam has been successful. But now to answer your question, uh, what it's done is, I've used those words before, it's earned the reputation. One of the key factors of Vietnam's success is that the Vietnamese Communist Party has always found ways to eliminate dogmatisms and reform its policies at all costs. 
The party is not afraid to change. Thanks to the party's strong determination and creativity, Vietnam has made amazing progress in social economic development. Vietnamese people's responsibility is another key contributing factor. Amid the COVID-19 pandemic, Vietnamese people have strictly followed preventive measures. As a result, the country has successfully contained the spread of the virus. I strongly believe that Vietnam will achieve more great things in the future. Vietnam has changed itself completely to become one of the leading economies of ASEAN. The Vietnamese people's living standards have improved. I've been closely watching the 13th National Party Congress as I want to know more about the country's foreign policies in the next five to ten years. I strongly believe that selected new leaders of the party will fulfill their missions in the future, including policies to strengthen long-term relations between Vietnam and Russia. The 13th National Congress of the Communist Party of Vietnam attracts not only domestic news and media agencies, but also major international reporters and journalists. Through their reports and articles, a dynamic and independent Vietnam with its remarkable achievements in socioeconomic development has reached the international community. This is the first time Chung Tae Ho, a reporter from Han Buk Gilbo in Hanoi, has reported about the Party Congress of Vietnam. He is impressed by the atmosphere, which can be felt in all streets of Hanoi these days. He wants to help South Koreans understand Vietnam better, which will promote the relationship of the two countries. Streets in Hanoi are covered with Vietnamese flags and the flags of the party. I can feel the people's expectations for the new leaders of the next five years. Inside the convention center, delegates debate and demonstrate a high sense of responsibility. As a South Korean reporter, I will be focusing on the relationship between Vietnam and South Korea over the next five years. We will continue to follow up and report on this issue. The achievements of the past five years have attracted great attention from international media. Many reporters have written articles praising Vietnam as a model for COVID-19 prevention. The country is also seen as a prize port for economic development in the Asia-Pacific region. The party congress takes place at a time when Vietnam is entering a new stage of development. The results will determine the country's future policies and directions. The Congress will undoubtedly be an important milestone in the development of the Communist Party of Vietnam, the country and the Vietnamese people. Not only Japanese but also international news agencies pay great attention to Vietnam, especially its development over the next five years. We are writing many articles and reports about the Congress. I also plan to write an article about the country's future foreign policies. This is the first time international reporters have registered to work online. Due to COVID-19, many news agencies are unable to send staff to work in Vietnam. Despite difficulties, more than 60 agencies worldwide have registered to work remotely. I'm already getting information from the embassy and also from the information center of the party congress. Next week, uh, after the uh, congress is uh, over, I plan to focus on, on Vietnam's foreign policy success in ASEAN as well as uh, the way it fought COVID, its external. So I, I would look more from the party congress from Vietnam's foreign policy perspective and the fight against COVID. With preparation and guaranteed working conditions, international reporters are providing timely and accurate information about the 13th National Party Congress. Their reports are delivering Vietnam's aspirations in a new era and expectations of Vietnamese people for the country's most important event.